Hi everybody, this is Brooklyn Trader from FXLiveDayTrading.com. Today I wanted to go over the falling wedge pattern. It's a reversal pattern. Falling pattern is a bullish pattern, okay? And it begins wide at the top and contract as prices move down. So we're starting here. As we're moving down, it starts to get tighter. We really don't see this until 50% into the pattern. Um, pattern appearance may vary but they all have one thing in common okay and that is the fact that they are um, I guess you could say looking like a funnel so to speak um, this price action it forms I guess you could say a funnel a cone it slopes down as the reaction highs and the reaction lows converge in contrast to symmetrical triangles which have no definitive slope and no bias falling wedges definitely slope down and have a bullish bias now keep in mind this bullish bias cannot be realized until a resistance breakout which right here we see resistance breakout Actually, you know, trend line breakout, some people will call it resistance as well. It is definitely resistance. I like to differentiate the two. So over here we have a true resistance breakout. 130, 81 breakout. We took a long with a stop below this level, did very well. Close to 300 pips. It was a 3 to 1 risk reward ratio with a hundred pip stop and uh, we did exceptionally well on this uh, particular trade interesting enough during this bottom portion over here of this pattern we had the announcement from the Bank of Japan that they were going to intervene and start selling yen so this is Brooklyn Trader to learn more about uh, these type of chart patterns and many more or to experience the action of a live room in a live setting where you can ask questions um, and trade with us as we scalp euro and US sessions or simply just would like to receive signals come to our website fxlivedaytrading.com have a great day